Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 25th, 2019. So happy Friday, everyone. I hope everyone is looking forward to a good weekend and maybe a little relaxation after kind of a crazy market week. Let's take a look at what the uh, charts are showing us here. See if we can kind of determine how we might want to approach the market for today. Looking at the Dow here, um, as you can see, we're still struggling. As a matter of fact, if it wouldn't have been for a late day rally that came in, and here again, it's the same thing that happened yesterday. We had that late day rally that really kind of moved us back up pretty sharply at the um, at that end of the day. We would have had a much more bearish picture this morning on the Dow, but that late day rally brought us back up. But we still have to recognize the fact that we are struggling underneath this price resistance area. And as we continue to struggle here, it is really important to notice that we just seem to, at least right now, seem to be a little bit confused in the market. We've had a mixed bag of earnings. Yesterday we had good earnings out of Intel, we had good earnings out of Juniper, but doggone Amazon went and laid a big egg yesterday, um, showing a big pullback this morning which will obviously affect that nasdaq um, index pretty substantially so this mixed bag that we're receiving kind of has the market a bit um, confused this morning and seems to have done the same for the markets around the world um, asian markets closed pretty darn flat and um, they were just mostly positive but pretty flat overall trying to figure out what all of the corporate earnings mean with um, still the pending uh, trade negotiations and the issues over Brexit so everybody seems to be just looking for some kind of guidance some kind of help as to where we go from here european markets are doing virtually the same thing i'm um, just kind of floating around um uh, close to the flat line actually europe is just currently just slightly a little bit lower and here in the u.s we ha also have that mixed bag of of um expectations as we head into the morning open what i will say here overall is that right now the bulls still hold on to control in this market but they seem to lack the mojo needed to really move us higher and if we take a look we're holding on to this price support holding above this big gap area here in the chart and that 50-day moving average is continuing to slowly move up trying to provide some support to those prices dow futures at the moment are indicating just a slightly lower open um, at the moment and um, yesterday was kind of a surprise um, we had that nice bullish move in the morning that turned into a pop and drop pattern we gapped up and then sold all the way off really quickly in the Dow and that actually put a damper on the rest of the um, indexes yesterday so let's take a look at the spy SPY now SPY has been holding up quite well and you can see that late day rally certainly helped Helped this um, index a lot at the end of the day but now we kind of face uh, we're facing off with this resistance level and we had an opportunity back here where we poked out a couple times above that resistance high but unable to hold it um, at least so uh, you know uh, so far they have not been able to hold that and right now the the es futures are indicating just a teeny tiny uh possibility of a move higher this morning but boy we're sure struggling up here with this resistance and we have to recognize the fact that even i mean even though we want this market to go up and i can understand why everyone is really hopeful that the market will go up we have to recognize the possibility of this triple top that is forming in here this darn resistance has proven to be uh, very very strong and we need some kind of um serious bullish action to push us up through there and hold it and i'm just not seeing that today in the market but we'll we'll have to wait and see and as the as we approach the weekend there's that uncertainty that still 
spinning around out there in in both trade and Brexit. And who knows what that means as we head into the weekend, if traders will continue to hold that risk or if they might start selling off some of that risk due to the uncertainty of the weekend. Let's take a look at the queues. Now the queues, whoops, queues had a strong day yesterday, one of the best, but now we've got that big disappointment from Amazon and I don't know if the other earnings can overcome uh, this big hit that um, the, the NASDAQ is taking on Amazon. Now Intel um, reported very very well jumping higher this morning. Juniper um, Juniper also looking for that higher open this morning and uh, a few others, but will there be enough there to offset that big disappointment uh, because of the weighting that um, Amazon carries in the index. But right now we're showing just an ever so slight bullish open trying to hold here as we challenge these resistance highs and, and they're again heading into the weekend. Is there just enough information to give those bulls the 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 inspiration needed to uh, continue to hold or even push higher into this weekend. We'll have to wait and see. It's kind of a interesting morning setup. If we look at um, IWM, IWM had another one of those kind of disappointing days that looked like we were going to have leave this with a really big bearish engulfing candle. We still have a bearish engulfing but that late day rally added a little confusion and we still have yet to really uh, make a decisive um challenge of this overall downtrend um, in the chart and so a little bit of confusion still going on here at IWM. So let's take a look at the VIX. By the way, I'm still even though even though these markets are uh, there's big question marks out there, I still have to give these to the bulls right now. The bulls are still holding on. They're trying really hard to find a way, find any kind of of, of hope to push us into those uh, new price levels. But right now, um, although they, they kind of have the edge here, there's just this there's just this mixed feeling of uncertainty that um, seems to be uh, they're struggling with and those bears just continue to hold strong at that resistance level. Let's take a look at uh, the VIX. Now the VIX, I'm going to go to this chart here. The VIX yesterday um, saw fear dropping out of the market. So we still had that fear coming out of the market yesterday. No real um, sign of major fear. We, we rallied up a little bit um, yesterday is that Dow sold off pretty strongly, but then it just didn't hold it. Um, rallied back up that fear continuing to drop out of the market here so as long as we maintain ourselves underneath this resistance i think we're in good shape um, whether or not we can deal with this level of support and fall on through that's kind of the big question right now it's it's actually the possibility that we could bounce off of there so we have to watch this pretty closely as we head into the weekend just a little bit of confusion and uh, it's like we're just wandering around dazed and confused this morning don't exactly know what to do with ourselves here in the market let's take a look at t2122 it's that four week new high new low ratio and you can see we've been up here and we challenged this bearish re, um, resistance level and we've had a little bit of a pullback here. Now that can be a positive sign for the market. It's possible that that little bit of pullback just opens up enough room for those bulls to really get in there. We need that inspiration to move up there and get up there and pop through those resistance levels. But we also have to recognize the fact that there's a pretty big open window to the downside that we could slip um, back down. Now, one thing I want to point out, we always have to remember that the market can go in three directions, up, down, and sideways. 
And keep in mind, a sideways move will often take the T2122 indicator and, and have it drift lower. And in that case, that opens up more upside opportunity. So just because we may not have the inspiration to go higher or lower, a rest in here right now still remains a bullish uh, pattern and gives the bulls an edge. So let's hold on to that um, idea. Don't get too overly bearish here in the market, but we certainly wanna be very watchful if those bears happen to start to attack. So with that, let's take a look at our economic calendar today. Now our economic calendar has a couple things that could move the market around today, but the biggest one being here first thing this morning at 10 a.m eastern we have the consumer sentiment number if consumers remain strong um and that will help our our market feel give that little warm and fuzzy that consumers are going to continue to spend and do their things if that happens to slip that might be um just one of those things that adds a little bit more confusion, maybe a, a little bit more uh, downside pressure that could break some of these support levels. We don't want to see that. So let's hope those consumers hold in there nice and strong. And then treasury budget at the end of the day. I doubt that would move the market at all. So kind of keep that in mind. We have a lighter day on the earnings calendar um, with um, just over 60 companies reporting earnings today. Um, we'll get reports from um, Bud. Uh, looks like Bud has already reported and disappointed here. Bud uh, moving lower. Um, Goodyear Tire set to report this morning can't see that there that is reported yet this morning psx um looks like they have reported positively moving higher here this morning so we've got quite a few of these reports that can move us around but um not um not reports that are likely to really drive the market um, this morning. Verizon looks like they've reported and reported just ever so slightly bullish um, in their report. So just a little bit of back and forth here and um, a market just kind of confused as to what to do with itself now. Um, so watch that, watch that price action real closely and be flexible. I know we all want to see the market go up and that's kind of the, the normal reaction. The market's uh, most people are bullish um, on the market most of the time. They want that market to go up, but we have to be um, willing to see those potential challenges that um, the market is facing. And if those bears find any kind of, of uh, inspiration to, to attack, it really wouldn't be a big um, stretch to see this little level of support fail and the Dow drive down into that 50 day moving average. Now that's still not bearish, but that would be kind of a disappointing move, uh, particularly on a Friday like this. So just watch that close. If we fail those areas, it could be kind of critical. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day in trading. I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, could you do me a favor and click that subscribe button on YouTube and then click that bell icon? You know, I try to do the very best job I can in putting out some content without, without prediction or hype, but to really focus in on what the chart is telling us and maybe help folks um, determine how they want to approach the market for today. I, I can tell you I'm approaching the market today with a little bit of cautious optimism, but um, we'll be very watchful of that price action. Would not be surprised if if we see um, those bears make, a, make an attack sometime today uh, as well. So with that in mind, um, if you find these videos useful to you, if you get something out of them, could you please also click that thumbs up button and leave a brief comment? You know, every time you click those thumbs up buttons, leave a comment, it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks, keeps this channel growing. And I want to say thank you. And by the way, we just, just, um, um, yesterday hit 7,500 subscribers. So thank you, everyone. You guys are awesome. Um, you guys truly humble me every single day when I read some of the comments and, and, um, 
uh, see those subscribers continuing to come in. You guys, you guys are truly, truly amazing. Thank you very much. And um, hopefully you're getting a lot out of these videos as well. So let's take a look at a few charts that might be setting up for potential trades. But before we do, I want to remind everyone that even though I point out um, some trade ideas and things like this, that none of these are meant to encourage you to buy or sell any security. They are not a re recommendation in any way. And um, take it as part of the education uh, of what I do. And if you um, uh, do happen to like some of the charts that I point out, put them on a watch list, make that evaluation happen. Um, see if, determine whether or not they fit you as a trader. So let's take a look at a few charts that I've been paying attention to. Now Foot Locker had kind of a rough day yesterday, pulling back, but overall I like this little trend that's going on here. And this is um, what we call a rounded bottom breakout pattern and the ultimate target up here is up here around the 200 day moving average where we actually fill this gap so if if Foot Locker can kind of hold on in this area, may has to may have to consolidate just a little bit longer um, over toward that trend. But there may be an opportunity here to move on up toward that 200-day moving average. Right now, retailers seem to be holding up pretty well. So yesterday's little sell-off here was disappointing, but um, there may still be an opportunity here in that chart. Another chart I really like is JB Hunt. Now JB Hunt has been in a beautiful upside trend. As you you can see moving up uh, showing strength and we pop through this resistance and notice that we are consolidating um, above that resistance now um, having drawn that trend line the way I did you can see that there could be a considerable amount of time that this could either rest or pull back and you see it happens pretty frequently we rest up here a little bit and then eventually pull back rest up here eventually pull back so right now we want to watch this area up here if that can consolidate over to trend and go up awesome but don't be too surprised if this sees that little pullback before and contacts somewhere around that trend before it starts to move up jb hunt looking strong and keep in mind we always have to pay attention to these earnings reports everything can change um, around these earnings reports and uh, to be honest i hate earnings um, i hate earnings because it can take a perfectly good chart and just mess it up completely where it's it's virtually untradeable but but those are uh, those are things to uh, maybe keep a, an eye on. Take a look at O'Reilly. Now O'Reilly was was a big pattern that I've kind of been watching here, and I'm going to go to a weekly, and you can see in this chart we had a nice upside trend going on. We've been rising in these lows, and we had that resistance right in here, making that wedge pattern. Now we got earnings reports on this yesterday, gapping up big. And now what I want to do is I want to wait for the rest consolidation or pullback in here to uh, maybe take that next opportunity in this trade. O'Reilly reported very well, very, very strong. So wait for that next potential entry into that trade. Um, watch carefully for that. Of course, you can always go into an intraday chart and maybe find one of those intraday patterns that you like to trade and catch in on that trade earlier, but I will probably wait for that next potential or, uh, um, entry into the trade. A couple other charts I wanna point out here this morning. Uh, builders have been very, very strong. I had an alert here on DHI yesterday, a nice little morning star pattern here, and we're holding this beautiful trend. Builders have been very, very strong, continuing to stay strong in this trend. DHI looking very good. And I'm also going to say that Lennar, um, Lennar is very well set up for a potential trade. Uh, moving up nicely in its trend, nice little consolidating move and showed a little bit of bullishness there yesterday, maybe ready to push on higher. So keep an eye on Lennar. Procter & Gamble um, had a nice move yesterday, popping on up. Remember Procter reported well and popped up in here and yesterday we made an attack of this all time high here in the chart. So if we can actually break through there and hold that level up there, there may be an opportunity here in Procter & Gamble. So keep an eye on that chart. Any break 
above this resistance level and hold up in this area may provide that opportunity to see Proctor move on higher. Um, let's see, Roku. Roku, I've been mentioning Roku um, in these morning videos for a while and mentioned yesterday that Roku, as long as it can kind of hold on to this area of support in here, could still have a nice opportunity. Now you can see it's been challenging this 50 day moving average. And yesterday we had that nice little bullish move maybe indicating Roku could be at that point where we're gonna consolidate this move over toward this trend. And we wanna watch in here for that opportunity for that next move higher. So you might wanna keep Roku on your list and pay attention to it. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a great day and I want to wish you an awesome weekend. I hope everyone has a good restful weekend. Everyone take care of yourselves. Be safe out there and we'll see you right back here bright and early Monday morning. I wish you all great success today and great profits. Have a good one.